So it's been about 10 hours since I last ate a meal, which was three eggs scrambled, a half an avocado, and a salad, and I did have some green juice. I am still not hungry. That was early this morning. It's already five o'clock and I'm still not hungry. However, I don't like to eat past five or so. Um, and I am going to be going to bed here soon, shortly. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and try to force myself to eat something. Uh, this is a ketogenic diet and my body is now burning its own fat. I am totally cutting sugar out as much as, po as much as humanly possible out of my diet. That means no fruit, practically no fruit. I do still like to juice with maybe one small apple with my green juice and for vitamin C I do like lemon water. But yeah, I really really are, am limiting my fruits and any kind of uh, starchy or sugary vegetable is also being eliminated out of my diet. So I'll start here. I'll tell you about my bone broth. This is beautiful bone broth. It's been the bone marrows have been cooking on in my slow cooker for two whole days now. It is so delicious. It's clear bone broth with I only put like huge chunks of cabbage in just like uh, an hour or two ago because I'm going to eat those with my meal but this has just got a uh, gray sea salt in it I just put a little couple pinches of gray sea salt in the bone broth just now this is so good this is so nourishing for the body this is what we're supposed to be eating. And yeah, I am over 50, so don't give me any shit. I was vegan and vegetarian for over 23 years, and I was not being nourished the way you're supposed to be nourished. Anyway, this here is the most expensive fish you can buy, so don't get jealous. It's sea bass. This little piece here was like over $10. Um, my eyes are always bigger than my stomach. There's no way I'm going to eat all this food. There's no way. Like yesterday, I didn't eat all that. I showed that I had two pork, little pork cutlets. I, I could only eat like half of one, pretty much. I got half an avocado. I probably won't be able to eat all that. And I got two big slices of organic cabbage that I, like I said, I put in the bone broth just a couple hours ago. Very soft. And I did sprinkle everything with sea salt. And this has got a ginger, uh, sesame ginger mayo I put on it before I cooked it. So you can't tell me this isn't healthy for all you rabbits out there. I don't care if someone wants to be vegan or vegetarian, but don't give me shit because I can't do that diet anymore. It doesn't work for me anymore. This is working for me. I'm losing weight on this diet. And like I said, I'm not even hungry right now. It's been 10 hours. Could a vegan do that? No. You have to eat like every two or three hours when you're vegan or vegetarian. I can go a day. I can go like eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hours, and I'm still not even hungry. My body is burning fat now. It's not burning sugar like everybody else does. That's crazy. Everybody's like on heroin. Sugar is like heroin. It's like the most addictive thing you can ever do and you don't even realize it. That's why your body, that's why people's bodies are storing fat because you're storing the fat because your body is only living off of sugar. We're talking starches, we're talking pastas, we're talking potatoes, we're talking like all the things that people think are supposed to be good for you. Fruits, you know, way too many fruits. Fruits aren't even natural. They're man-made. Man, man took fruit, okay, that was like a little tiny sour thing, and they, and they genetically modify it to make it larger and sweeter and more sugar. That's not natural, so you can't tell me that's natural. Try to live in the wild on fruit and vegetables. You will die. You will die without B12. I can guarantee you. You won't live long, okay? You might live on a vegan diet without B12. You might live about 20-so years if you're lucky. Yeah. 
before you get some kind of huge infection. Uh, actually, if you try to live on a vegan diet without B12, I can guarantee, pretty much guarantee you, you will die from an infection probably in about five or six years because your body can't handle it. The only reason why vegans are alive today because of two reasons, B12 and antibiotics. Don't give me any shit. I know. Take care. Mm, vegans, vegetarians.